In this video, I'm going to be going over everything we know about the upcoming remaster for Scorched Earth and Ark Survival Ascended. So there's a lot of information to go over in this video, like release dates, there's multiple new creatures that are being added, there's tons of new items and DLC content, some of it's paid for and stuff like that, and lots of map changes too, and we're going to be going over all the stuff that we currently know in this video. We know there's going to be a lot of map changes, and I would expect it to be a lot like the island, where there's a bunch of just like, like small little map changes, new ruins added and stuff. But they also said Scorched Earth is going to be tied into the story a lot more with Ark Ascended. And they said they're going to be adding new caves, and also some new like explorer notes, I believe. And like some just new stuff to tie in the story with the rest of Ark, because Scorched Earth is known for being kind of like distant from the Ark story compared to all the DLCs, and this one... The remaster in Ark Ascended is supposed to fix that, I guess, and kind of tie it into the story more, which is going to be very cool. With new caves, that could mean they add new artifacts. Of course, this is just me speculating, but uh, it is possible that they could add new artifacts with these caves, considering I don't know what else they would put inside of them to make you want to go in there. And they could either use those to add another boss fight, which I don't think they would do, or just make like more artifacts that you need for the Manticore fight to make it more of a challenge to get to. I don't know. We'll have to see, though, when it comes out. That we don't really know much about. And then we're going to go over the creatures. The first creature is the Fasilosuchus that will be added. This one won one of the community creature votes. So it was the, the one that decided to be added to Scorched Earth. This one will be free so every map player can use it. That will be important later because some of the creatures aren't. But yeah, this creature is basically going to be able to swim in the sand. I don't like basically like swimming through water. Kind of like the Concave Editor from the Arc Editions mod if you, any of you guys know what that is. But it's gonna have some pretty cool abilities one is it's basically gonna go around and circle the player or i guess wild dinos as well that it wants to kill and it can basically like circle them and create a sand whirlpool and i don't know how that's gonna work exactly but i imagine it would just like sink them into the sand and slowly suffocate them or something like that it also has like acid spikes i'm not sure how that one works either but it's gonna have some acid spikes which will be cool and if you want to tame this thing basically you're gonna have to like shoot explosives to it and then like i don't know ride it and then steer it into rocks where that will like slowly knock it out because narcotics won't work on it seems like a pretty crazy taming method but we'll have to see it in game when it comes out the other creature being added to scorched earth is the oasis or this is probably one of the craziest creatures they added it basically like the titanosaur sized gigantic creature with a oasis on its back and it's got some crazy abilities as well so once you do tame this thing it has like a pool of water on its back that when you get in it it cures all your sicknesses and illnesses as well as when you put your dead dinos in it it brings them back to life don't know how that one works it looked like from the uh picture on the dossier it might like turn them into a baby so you basically you get like a baby version of the creature that died seems really overpowered either way it also has the ability if you put crop plots and stuff on it they'll grow like insanely well like to the point where you don't even have to like give them fertilizer or anything they'll just grow automatically so it makes farming way easier and of course it can fly and hover around the entire map this thing looks like absolutely insane i always do love like gigantic creatures like this i just find them really fascinating but a lot of people are saying that this is pay to win and completely overpowered it doesn't make sense that it's overpowered we don't know how the pay to win side is going to work because this is part of the frontier adventure pack dlc which i'll get into in a second more in detail because there is more stuff than just this creature in it but basically people are saying that it's like going to be pay to win because some people won't be able to get it we also we don't know how these adventure packs work so we don't know if like you just if you don't have the pack then you can't use these creatures or if like maybe they're gonna be on different servers or something i think that it personally they might have like a separate server for like so they have scorched their servers and then they have scorched their servers with the frontier adventure pack or maybe it's kind of like uh it's still on there but you can use it or you just can't craft like the stuff that's in the adventure pack we'll have to see but i can't really say it's pay to win until we actually know how the, it works and then if it is like that then i guess you could say that the creature is pay to win but overall, it seems like a really powerful creature, and we'll have to see how it works in-game. So now we'll get to the Frontier Adventure Pack. This is basically like an added-on DLC that's going to give you a bunch of new items, access to the Oasisaur creature, as well as a bunch of cosmetic skins and stuff like that. And we're going to be going over all the stuff they said. I'm not sure if they've revealed everything that's going to be in the pack, but they've revealed a lot of stuff for it. So the Frontier and Fissure pack is going to have new structures, which I assume is going to be structure skins. I'm pretty sure they said it's going to be structure skins, which they've added like structure skins recently. I haven't really tested out how that works, but you'll basically have new structure skins, which will be pretty cool. They're also going to have wagons, which I find interesting. I imagine you'll be able to like attach these to creatures maybe, or maybe you just 
like haul them around i'm not sure but you could like basically put items in them it's just me speculating on how the wagons would work but i think it'd be cool if you could like attach them to your creature like a parasaur or something and then go around with it and have extra weight that definitely would be cool there's new character skins as well like the cowboy and cowgirl skin you can see right here these are part of the skin packs you'll get so you'll get these when you buy the pack and then you'll have new creatures as well like the oasisaur like i've mentioned there's bar games we don't really know how that one works at all then there's railroad tracks and trains which are going to be very interesting having trains in the game and not too long ago they released an image with three of the adventure packs for aberration scorched and extinction but the reason i'm talking about it now is because it has some details on the scorched adventure pack as well like for instance at the top you can see the character is holding a revolver which of course we don't have revolvers in the game i'm assuming that would be a skin for the simple pistol making it look like a revolver which would be pretty dope to have as well as you can see the trains and what they look like and obviously they're looking pretty cool i've noticed as well you can see there's vaults placed on the back so that might mean that you can basically like place vaults and crap on the back or maybe you could place like smithies or whatever you want on the back or it's possible that there could be like just designated like train cars that you have to build that already have the things placed on them I'm not sure how that works either it could be those two you could either place them freely on there which i think is probably most likely what would happen or they're just like pre-made carts that have their own stuff like vaults and stuff on them we'll have to see last monday as of releasing this video the game had an update and it basically was preparing for scorched earth while adding a few other things but mainly it was just preparing for the scorched earth update and with that they did accidentally put some things in the game or i guess not accidentally because it was preparing for scorched earth but as you can see the crop plops right here it says till plot with the shovel to increase growth plot and yield now shovels aren't in the game and that's not a current thing that's in the game that you can do and we know that shovels are going to be part of the frontier adventure pack so that kind of just shows how this good like shovel item is going to work that's going to be one of the items in the frontier adventure pack you'll be able to till i guess your soil and make it grow with the shovel and scorched earth so that will be quite interesting there's also more news as well some of the assets from scorched earth on asa are in the dev kit right now and you can actually look at them so i pulled them up on the dev kit here now i didn't figure this out it was netty the noodle who figured this out and i'll have a link to his video because he goes way more in depth than i will in this video but basically they have the all the assets here and you could as you can see right here these the vessel with like the salt in it you can see it's a really high definition as well as there's the water well which i can definitely tell a difference it looks really really good and then there's the armor sets like the desert armor and the manticore armor as well now these are aren't finished because they're in the dev kit and the desert armor definitely isn't finished because in the goggles you can see like words and stuff inside of them but it does look really good i'm glad they had the manticore armor in here as well i was kind of worried because on the island they removed like the bone helmets and all basically all the skins that were in the island they removed from asa when they came out so i'm glad the manticore armor skins are in here because they're one of my favorites and you can see it looks extremely high definition i'm just getting a close up here and you can see the level of detail in here as well as the new man new manticore shield and it looks absolutely amazing it's covered in detail there's just so much here and then you can see like the water vein thing you can see the deep rocks are insanely detailed it just shows you how detailed this map is really going to be when it comes out. It makes me really excited to see what the entirety of the map is going to look like when it's done. I also place the structures. They have all the structures in here, but they're kind of glitchy on here because, of course, they're not finished. This is just what they look like in the dev kit. There's a lot of, like, black spots on them. But we know it's the ASA ones because there's, like, quarter walls and stuff, which they don't have in regular arc. The quarter walls and stuff is just part of ASA, so... We know that these are part of those, but they're not finished yet, so I'm not really going to show those off too much. But these are all pretty cool. Now there's actually a couple dates that it could be, so we're not entirely sure because of the wording they've said. So like a month or two ago, I believe, they announced that Scorched Earth would be coming out on April 1st. So that's what we thought, but they've been saying with the new update that they that basically released the other Monday, they said that it would be releasing at the end of the month, which of course would not be April 1st, as well as when they released that teaser picture, they released the things for like the Bob Tall Tales thing, which is basically like a set of animated explorer notes they're adding to all the maps. And they said that would be released on March 31st. And it wouldn't make sense to give an update like that, basically, and then do another update the next day, adding a big DLC. So basically do a big update and then do another big update the next day. So people are thinking that it would come out on March 31st, which I think would be better because then that would mean it would be on a weekend. So, you know, everyone could play it at least with one of their days off. So that would be very nice if it did come out March 1st. So we don't know. It's either March the 1st, 31st or April 1st, but most likely it's going to get delayed. So 
we don't really know but that's all the news we have for scorched earth there's quite a lot here i'm definitely very excited i'd like to hear your thoughts are you excited for scorched earth but that's gonna be it for this video if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like and also subscribe thanks for watching and bye